Howdy YouTube, howdy America, what's up America, usually I'm talking just to fight fans, but uh, this time, I'm, I'm actually talking to the world, but this is more of an American thing, um, it's your boy Lucky, uh, aka the lover boy, um, and well, I've had a dilemma the last few days. I think I made my decision. I think I'm going to adopt an elderly redneck. Now, to be politically correct, uh, I don't know his exact nationality, but he calls himself a classy redneck or a redneck with class. Um, I really like him. He's a, he's, he's, he's a, he's a nice old man. And, um, he'd like to be, become a part of my family. And, um, well, I don't know. Uh, he seems to need a little help and... Sometimes when you need help, your own family isn't the first group to jump up and stand behind you. I mean, in other cultures, it usually is. Speaking of outside America, like, you know, Mexicans and, 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 uh, what's it called? Uh, Ecuadorians and Jewish people and, you know. A lot, a lot, a lot of other people. They, um, they are quick to, you know, Italians too. You know, they're quick to jump behind their own family and and help their family do well in life, and they stick together, and you know, so so that everybody's okay, you know, so everybody can enjoy a decent quality of life. Um, not everybody's like that. So, me being person I am and seeing a person in need of help I was just trying to help help somebody out just a little bit and um, it seems that he needs a little more help than than uh, than I thought and I don't know um, at the end of the day it's a real lovable guy so I think I'm gonna adopt him. Now, I already have a grandpa, Grandpa Byfield. Don't get jealous. I love you to death, and I will still come visit you. And I have another grandpa too. He was an Olympic boxer, Ronald Holmes. Don't really fuck with him too much, but I'm hoping that I can keep. Uh, no, no, I plan to keep the legacy alive be a world champion boxer myself, you know, kind of take it to the next level, but, um, yeah, I don't know, um, I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys could let me know something, I mean, I actually found it very interesting in having some conversations with him about, um, you know, race relations in America and such but um I don't know man he's a, he's, he's a good old southern semi angry and I, he honestly seems like a republican now I'm gonna be honest I never thought I would adopt a republican I remember like five years ago I wouldn't even be friends with a republican not knowingly but um I don't know I don't know like Republicans are people too <laughs> but uh, at the end of it all at the end of the day um, I made my decision already I've decided to go on, go on and do it um, I've spoken to people and uh, they don't agree and uh, they think that you know maybe I'm crazy and it's a bad idea, and they wouldn't do it. 
But I'm different. And I mean, if there weren't people like Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, and I mean, they're really famous and rich when they do it. But if there weren't normal people who like to help people out, regardless of what they look like, what would this world be? It'd be a really shitty place, if you ask me. So, I, um, I digress. I think I'm gonna, well, I made the choice to adopt a redneck. In one of these videos, I'll let you guys see him. I'll let you, maybe you guys can meet him out there on YouTube land. This is my good old buddy. You guys got any, uh, you know, input or whatever the case might be if you, uh, you know, I don't know, if you guys, I don't know, feel free to leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, uh, he said, uh, he'd love to see me boxing, he'd love to watch me spar, you know, so he's gonna be a fan, and, uh, I don't know. He's an awesome guy, though. Can't judge a book by its cover. And I, I don't say I'm not using the word. I don't use the word redneck lightly. I don't just throw it around. I mean, I've ironed his shirt. I've even helped wash his back. His neck is red. <laughs> this is this is very literal. I'm just I'm just I'm just calling it what it is. That's what he calls himself. I told him. Don't be, don't, 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 you know, don't worry. And he said, you know, he's been called the N-word before. And I'm like, nigga. We use the word nigga around my house quite often. Not everybody. But I do. I use it quite often. It's almost like a noun, like a person, place, or thing. And it ain't a pronoun. I use it all the freaking time. I tell people all the freaking time. That white nigga, that Chinese nigga. That Hispanic nigga, that tall nigga, that short nigga, that fat nigga, that slow nigga, that fast nigga. <laughs> that smart nigga, that dumb nigga. I don't know. It's just just a person. Just any type of person. It's what it is. So, <sighs> he's my nigga. And I'm, I'm going to adopt him. A lot of people don't agree with my decision. But hey, in life, they say you can't choose your family. But you can choose your friends. And I know, recently I just helped out a friend. Not recently, some years ago I helped out a friend. I moved all the way out of state to help out an old friend that I felt really valued our friendship. And, you know, I felt like, oh man, if I needed them, they'd probably be there for me. I was wrong. But even though I kind of regretted my decision afterward, that's just the type of person I am. That's the type of person that I want my son to be. That's the type of person that I want all my children to be and my great-grandchildren. I want to pass that down. I want everybody in my family to be the type of person to where if it's cold outside and it's snowing outside and they got heat in the house, you can come on in out of the cold. If you are effed up and in a messed up situation, you can come on in and get a good meal, and you can share, you can spend Thanksgiving with us, or we can travel and go spend Thanksgiving feeding people who are less fortunate. And I'm not fortunate. I mean, I'm fortunate. I mean, God has blessed me, don't get me wrong, but like, I am not living good right now. Like, you know, I mean, I feel blessed, and I got the, I got healthy lungs, a healthy heart, two good fists, and I can fight. And I mean, apparently I'm handsome, too. All that good stuff. But I'm not, you know, wealthy or uh, well-off or well-to-do or even have a lot of money in the bank. <laughs> so at the end of the day, um, I just think I think it's it, these, th those are the type of things that, uh, you know, make it makes the world go round. Helping people makes the world go round. So, I'm, I'm, the t I'm that type of person. I've always been different my whole life. I think I probably broke the record for suspensions. 
in uh, middle school or something like that. Um, I just couldn't get it right. I was always doing the opposite of what other kids are supposed to do. And uh, I've just been different my whole life. And and now as an adult, I finally feel that being different is a good thing. And so I'm going to take my different ass on over to where I'm going. And I'm going to adopt me a redneck. My nigga. Anyway, everybody, stay up. I appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, it's your boy Lucky. A.K.A. The Love Boy, A.K.A. Joe Jackie, A.K.A. Joe Chisel, a lot of things. Y'all have a good one.